What's up guys? <clears throat> Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a minnow trap out of these type of bottles here. Um, what was I going to say? Out of these type of bottles. Did I say I'm going to show you guys how to make a minnow trap? Oh yeah, step by step. But I'll show you some things that <clears throat> I did already before um, I, sh I um, uh, started this video. I put two holes in here. Hopefully you guys can see. Yeah, I put two holes in here with my drill. Cause and please like this video because it took me about an hour to do this because my one drill was dead and then I had to go to the shop and get a drill and um I couldn't find any of my drill bits and I tried a whole bunch of things and I had to charge my phone and stuff. <clears throat> so I was mad with that. And before I get into this um, I would wash it out uh, while well, I'm using whiskey bottles, so don't think I'm an alcoholic or something. These are my dad's. He drank these in like two years, so yeah, you want to wash them out so then the fish, they can't smell it, although I don't think fish can smell that well, because if they smell it, then um, they will go away, so yeah. So the first step that I would do, you would take, you would make the holes, and then the second one, it's pretty fast. Just uh, lick this so then you can put it through this hole. And then you might be able to grab it if I can get it through. Here, I'm just gonna turn the camera off and I'll make it through. Guys, I'm back. And to make your life a little bit easier, you don't have to use two holes, you can just use one. Stick it through, come up through here, and bring it down and just turn a knot make it stable I don't think this one is so stable maybe it is but let's do the second one um yeah that's pretty much all for these but I'm gonna go do the second one with you guys too okay I'll get the next bottle so here guys you with your tip you just stick it through then you stick it all the way through and you come with your finger pull it up try and like just drag it up and then over here and just tie them some knots like this. And let's tie it. And we'll just do it again. Unless you guys want to do like way more knots than me. I just normally put like three or four or something. So yeah. It's pretty simple. That's really all for this video, I guess. But please like the video and subscribe. I'm just gonna knock this one a little bit more. Yeah, so like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future content. Um, there's gonna be some fishing videos coming out pretty soon too. With the rod I showed you in the video, but that video did not get to upload because I don't have good internet on me. But I'll show you that rod right now. So these are done. I put a, quite a bit of just yarn on them because that's a good thing that I have. And wow, I just made that. Oh no, I did. Okay. Uh, here's the rod. You guys, I can't see it very well. But now you will be able to. It's one of. Here, let me just set it up. And see, look. It's one of these types of rods. You push this thing in down here, and then you just cast it. I put a lot of line on it. And then I have a pick, pickle rig, or a deadline, whatever you guys call it. I have these hooks on, and I have four little weights, because my big weights are almost out. Yeah, and I'm going to be using this one a lot more than my other rod, which I can go show you guys right now, too. Let's go show you guys that one. So guys, this is my last one. It's called a spinning rod. Um, they, these people call them ugly sticks. They have really good line on them. It's black. And I have a jig on this currently because uh, last time I was fishing, I was on a boat. If you just focus. I don't know if it's focused or not. And then, the, if you guys didn't, I think I already said this, but this is a spinning rod. The other rod that I have is a casting rod. And they cast way better than these. 
Actually, no, like, th these cast further, but those other rods are better for, like, lakes and stuff, but all I have around here is a river, but I like those rods a lot better. They're, they're my favorite rods. These, these aren't my favorite, but they're pretty good. And this is my f favorite type of rod, but... The other reel is my favorite, and you can't put that reel on this because it's not a casting rod, it's a spinning rod. Casting and spinning rods are different. A casting rod, the reel is on top here, and these guys are on top of here. And these guys are on the bottom, and these guys are on the bottom, and the line goes down here. It's a lot different, It's but it's pretty simple to figure out if you guys know stuff. And, um, that's pretty much what I'll have for today. And, um, so, uh, I guess, uh,